So today we're going to go over the Season 20 Apex Legends weapons. We're going to go over like a top 10 kind of deal. I didn't want to do a tier list on this one because uh, there's a lot of crap weapons in this game. I just wanted to go over my favorite 10. But what I'm going to do is go over my favorite 10 and kind of like the pro competitive meta guns as well. Uh, I know that some people have preferences. I have heavy preferences on guns I use on Apex. So I thought I'd go over what most people use like competitive rank levels and how good guns actually are in the game. And then I'll go over the, the top 10 weapons that I enjoy using because I have some interesting things that uh, I like to think about when I'm picking up weapons. And uh, yeah, thought I'd shout out with you because once again, it's my YouTube channel. I don't want to go over what other people use. I do want to discuss what I use as well. So let's get into these. So starting off, we're not going to do care package weapons in this video because I just don't see the point. Wingman Eva is very, very strong. Kraber Bow, very, very strong. We're not putting them in this tier list or top 10. So first of all, we have the 10 best guns that kind of competitive pros, ranked users, and pretty much everyone should have some of these guns in their favorite guns uh, because they statistically are just the best. So on the screen here, I made a little thing and uh, obviously... I had to do it kind of color-coded, but I've gone with the Havoc, the Hemlock, the Nemesis, the Vault, Prowler, Flatline, then I've gone for the R301 because it's consistently just a good gun, and then I've gone for the 3030G7 and the PK or Mastiff. Now, I know there's like kind of like 11-ish guns there, but I feel like them top 10, 11 guns are the best guns in the game, uh, apart from the care package weapons. But uh, yeah, so if you don't have some of them guns in your kind of top guns, then you should probably be getting some in there. So now let's get into my favourite guns in the game. So for starting off we have a setup of me using a flatline car in the background right now. I tried to get some gameplay of each gun because I think it kind of, it makes it look better when actually using the gun in the background. So uh, yeah, first of all the flatline. The flatline is probably the, my second favourite AR. Uh, the, I'll go over what my top one is in a minute. But the, uh, the flatline is a very, very good weapon. At close range is good, medium range is good, long range is a bit iffy because like controller, recoil control is not as easy as PC. But uh, it is still very, very strong and the flatline remains my second favorite AR. Uh, it's just like very versatile and I feel like you don't need a lot. Like off drop it is the probably the best weapon to find off drop because you don't really need a mag. It's quite slow firing, high damage. So you don't need a mag for it but for, first of all the flatline is it's just gotta be up there in everyone's tier list. If you don't use a flatline pick it up give it a go. Next up is going to be a burst weapon. Now it's going to be the Nemesis. The Nemesis is a great gun and I love how it has like the ramp up time. I'm not a big fan of burst guns normally. I haven't been in any like FPS ever. I really like the kind of full auto and uh, I think the Nemesis is okay because it has the ramp up time. Uh, when you use this thing the ammo depletes so quickly because of the ramp up time. It's, the fire rate just goes crazy. But overall it is probably the strongest AR still and uh, close range is pretty bad but medium along it is very very good so i've always been a fan of an r99 but this season the r99 is just it's just been nerfed too hard and it can't even be in my top 10 at the moment uh, they nerfed the recoil as well and honestly it's just not that strong at the moment it is still a fun and very satisfying gun to use but for now the car has overtook it for me uh, the car is just you can use both ammo types it has both uh, extended mag variations you can use and overall, it is just better than the R99 now. Uh, it's still not the best sub, I will say that. But for me, it is like it's a, it's the fastest killing sub because obviously the fire rate is so high. And uh, yeah, the car is just a great gun. I've always liked it a bit, but the R99 was always above it for me. But yeah, now we swap around. The car is in my top ten. Next up is another sub, and we're gonna go with the Prowler. So in the background, you can see I'm using a two times on it, and that's because the two times on it actually kind of works. You can use this thing as like an AR a little bit if you learn to control the recoil well. And honestly, it does so much damage. You get like a couple burst hits and you can knock someone with it. Even a rev that altered here. I know how overpowered rev is this season. Um, we still managed to knock him with the prowler here. And uh, honestly, this gun is so strong at the moment. I really used to love it when they had the select fire attachment that you could actually have a full auto prowler. Um, I'm not a big fan of burst guns, but sometimes like the Nemesis and the hem uh, not the Hemlock. Nemesis and the Prowler, I, as I've said in this video, are just both too strong not to mention. So the Prowler is going to be in my list. The next one on my list is probably my favourite gun this season, and it has been for many seasons. The R99 used to be, but this season the R99 obviously took its nerfs, and it's pretty bad at the moment. But the 301 remains one of the best guns in the game, and if it's not the best power-wise, it's definitely the most consistent and easiest to use. And that might be why I enjoy using it so much, but I just... The 301 for me, like medium to long range, is just perfect, and close range is very useful as well. My favourite kind of setup to run is 301 and a sub, or 301 and a shotgun. So the 301 being on the top of my list just makes a lot of sense. Uh, if you don't use the 301, I really recommend using it. The recoil is really, really easily controllable, uh, and honestly, it is very, very satisfying to get a kill with. Uh, my favorite AR by a mile, to be honest. 
and uh, I will always try and pick a free iron up uh, in any game I play. This is a ranked game this season and uh, I pretty much take out this whole squad with uh, pretty much free one and uh, I just love the gun. So probably the best SMG in my opinion this season is going to be the Vault. Now the Vault is very easy to use and once again I think this is the same kind of deal with the free one. I love the Vault. I think the free one Vault is probably my favourite setup. The free one car comes close but the, the Vault is just such a good gun. And uh, honestly, energy weapons are very, very good this season. It's kind of been like, the meta has been light for a long, long time. And finally this season, I think energy is probably the most used weapon. Like you have the Nemesis in there. Then you also have the Havoc, which is really strong. And then you have the Vault. I think Nemesis, Vault, most people will try and run them weapons. And they're really, really strong at the moment. I don't really have much to say about the Vault other than that it's just very, very good uh, and, and quite easy to use. It's quite slow firing, which makes it easier to use. And uh, off drop, it is great to find as well. So the final two guns I'm going to mention in this video are the PK and the Mastiff. Both shotguns are great right now. Obviously the Eva's in the care package which is also great but we're not going to talk about care package weapons. The Mastiff and the PK are just both very very strong. The SMG's got a kind of a nerf with the R99 and the car are no longer like heavily used. The Volt is the more heavily used sub now which kills a bit slower and is actually probably a bit worse uh, at close range and it makes shotguns a lot stronger. Obviously it's good for PC players as well and uh, not so good for controller players like me but I still really enjoy using shotguns and they're so satisfying to use on Apex. I just have a weird thing hitting like a 90 of a shotgun is just so satisfying but you can see here that I do not like long range weapons now I'm not saying they're bad obviously they have they have their place uh, I think the Sentinel is a good gun especially when you charge it I just don't enjoy using it and I wanted to make this video about the guns I enjoy using the G7 and the, and the 30 30 are both also very very strong but I like to have close range weapons that I can use, switch with very close range so I like to run a mid range gun like a flatline 301 and that's actually my long range weapon as well and then I'd like to run a sub and a shotgun or a shotgun and uh, sometimes I'll run two subs, sometimes I'll run a sub and a shotgun because I'm very much a close range kind of player. Most controller players should be to be honest because that is where it excels to with aim assist but uh, yeah, uh, it's not saying I can't use like a triple take or a sentinel. I can shoot, I can shoot, but I uh, I prefer not to to be honest. But let me know in the comments what your favourite gun in the game is guys. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe, say whatever else you want to say in the comments. And thanks for watching. Peace out for now.